we'll start off talking about the GOP debate, debate. last night. It's the last one. It's no more. Did y'all have your popcorn? Because people said it was a show. The View talked about it today and did. Oh, they did. They did a few clips of it. Uh huh. Everybody trying to be a comedian. And, Everybody, um, no, your, Viv, Vivek, he wants your, to be your friend, Rama Swamp. Kuma, well, I'll say Rama Swamp now because he's sounding like he's from the swamp, dirty land. Akuma Matata. He's trying to carry on uh, the spirit of of, of His Trump. Trump. Okay. He tried so hard to get a job for Trump. Yeah, keep remember me, remember me when you become president. Remember me. No, dude. So uh, Akuma Kana, he's not gonna, <laughs> he's not gonna get you. But he was mean to. Um, Nikki, oh the yeah, comments he made about even um, Fred Flintstone and I don't know. He tries too hard, but um, if if you want to show the clip, <laughs> the first the one thing that they get, he has to understand, or the Republicans need to understand, their best chance, in my opinion, of winning is Nikki Haney. Mm-hmm. With Trump, he may win. But you taking a chance. We don't know. He can be Biden because Biden is weak. Mm -hmm. Polls are really crazy, too, because even though it shows a comb over ahead, people may change their minds and vote a different way. And if you don't know what they're saying or voting. What's that? This is the Okay. Do you want to show the the video clip of what they said? Some of the stuff they may talk about, I may talk about it. Yeah. All right. Here we go. The Republican candidates faced off in Alabama last night for a debate that aired on News Nation, which was full of mudslinging, mudslinging, and a few moments of civility. Take a look. And Nick, if you can't tell the difference between where Israel is and the U.S. is on a map, I can have my three-year-old son show you the difference. This is the fourth debate, the fourth debate that you would be voted in the first 20 minutes as the most obnoxious blowhard in America. I've known her for 12 years, which is longer than he's even started to vote in a Republican primary. This is a smart, accomplished woman. You should stop insulting her. Do everybody a favor. Just So hold on. That's the thing that I'm saying about him that irritates me. He's a he's an annoying gnat. <laughs> he's like a gnat. No, a gnat is not annoying. A mosquito or a fly. Yes. He's a like a fly. I can see him uh, with a fly body with his head and somebody trying with a fly swatter to hit him. him. Mm-hmm. He's so annoying. And he knows that. It's like he tries to get up under their skin. I think he's doing it on purpose. Nikki didn't let him know last night. It was one she didn't reply. Yeah, she to. said, I'm not even going to. It's not even worth it. But he's so annoying. Yeah. Why would she be the United... Why would you insult a woman who was the United Nations, uh, our ambassador, mm-hmm. saying she can't even find something on the map that your annoying three-year-old son can? Mm-hmm. The one we saw on stage that his mom couldn't even make him take a picture because he didn't know, want to stand in line. didn't want to act up. He was acting up. But why would he's doing? He's trying to do what Comover does. Remember, Comover kept t- making comments about Hillary, you know, and and all the little negative <coughs> stuff about Obama and stuff. He wants to name call. He wants to throw shade. That's what he's trying to do. He's trying to appease Trump's uh, followers. First of all, I don't like Trump. He's a he's a moron, mm-hmm. but he's entertaining. He's, and he's an funnier than you are. Exactly. He's funnier than you are. Kumasami on your best day. <laughs> Kumasami. <coughs> Keep going. <coughs> you okay? Yeah, I know, huh? <coughs> All right, let's keep going. Can't holler then. I can't holler. Just walk yourself off that stage, enjoy a nice meal, yeah. and get the hell out of this yeah, place. Yeah, be- he told him to walk himself off the stage and get a nice get meal. a nice meal and get the hell out of this race. Mm-hmm. That's a fat shaming. So not only is that what Trump does, calls him fat boy or something. Right. Mm -hmm. But Trump would just say, I don't know. There's something about him. I just don't like him. He's trying to be like Trump. He's trying to appease the Trump. uh, And people booed him. He got a lot of boos. So I don't know if that was his plan. No. To not get that many boos, to get some, yeah, yeah, tell her. Tell him, big boy. Yeah, go eat a sandwich. Why would you tell him to walk himself off the stage 
and, and get a meal. Because he's trying to be a comedian. That's what Joy was saying. He was trying to be funny. He's That's not his calling. And then you're skinny. So for you to tell somebody, that's why, that's it. That's why Trump is funny because he's fat. <laughs> so when he talks about Chris Christie being fat, it's funny. Okay. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Like when we joke about being fat. Yeah. Get up, fat girl. Go get you a uh, pork chop. You know what? <laughs> People are laugh. Mm-hmm. But if a skinny person says, get up and go get you a pork chop. Yeah. That's not it's funny. Mean. Yeah. It, it's, it's more like mean spirited. What Trump does is like, you bigger than I am. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm big, but you're bigger. <laughs> I'm a moron, but you're a bigger moron. <laughs> go get you a full sandwich. Uh-huh. I mean, go get you a full meal when you get off stage. <laughs> With me, I'm just going to get a sandwich. I'm just getting a sandwich. That's all I need. Yeah, we both shouldn't be having anything, but <laughs> that's Trump. <laughs> yep, keep it going. All right, he stand this weasel. Her donors, these Wall Street liberal donors, they make money in China. They are not going to let her be tough on China, and she will cave to the donors. He's mad because wa- those Wall Street donors used to support him, and now they support me. Nikki is corrupt. This is a woman who will send your kids to die so she can buy a bigger house. Would you like to respond? No. This is a woman that will send your kids to die so she can buy a bigger house. When her husband is currently serving. Thank you. See why I'm saying he's a mo- he's stupid he, he too. Is, he is. I'm tired of the four of them. Really, one of them. They they really need to come together and support one. The four of them is just causing trouble. Well, the four of them is going to make sure that Trump is the nominee. Yeah, because they they're going to split the vote. Because they stupid. So all right. So was that the main thing that from was this it. stupid? That was it. Mm-hmm. This stupid debate. Mm-hmm. Let me see. Did they have it? Did they cover anything that anybody? Of course, of Trump didn't show other. up. Of course, why would he? He's fifty points ahead or whatever. He's not going to show up. Why would he? Like you said, mm-hmm. um, Ron DeSantis. They say he wasn't as stiff as he normally was. Right. He's trying to loosen up now. Oh, he is. It's too late now, buddy. It's um, it's over. This is the last debate. Um, the fire exchanges we said was Chris, uh, Chris Christie, and people was like. They think that Chris Crispy did Chris Crispy. Chris. <laughs> Big boy. Uh-huh. Chris, uh, Fred, Flintstone. Fred Flintstone. Some people think Fred Flintstone is teaming up with Nikki Haley because he's going to back out of the race and he wants his supporters to go to Nikki Haley. Oh, okay. So we'll see. Okay. Um, no show, no show, Trump. Nothing really. They didn't really have no high, no really. A lot of Anything highlights. Anything different? Yeah, just going after everybody each other was with going the after uh, Nikki Haley because mm-hmm. they know she's a t- she's going to be probably a front front runner. Yeah, yeah, especially uh, Ramaswamy. He's trying to really get <clears throat> some points. So if Trump gets in, mm-hmm. he'll pull him into in his administration. He'll put oh him over something, which is not going to happen. Like he did Ben Carson and all the other people. Oh. Who will be his cabinet? Seriously, Kumakama. Some of those reps that's 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 licking his butt now. There's people that's licking his butt. No, um, Trump. Who oh, will, we who don't will know. Who will he pull in as his vice? Who we will he pull know. in as all of those cabinet positions? Honestly, I don't think he wants a vice president. I think they have to make him get one. He don't want one. He where he made the comment about being a, a d- dictator for one day. Yeah. And you know darn well it won't be no one day with that mentality. That man wants to be a dictator like right. Kim Jong Un, right. like Russia. Come on now. So we, but people want it. It's gonna be like Saul. Yeah, people want it's it. It's kind Saul. of prophetic if you think about it because prophecy is future. Where you talk about Antichrist, uh, the the what is it? The what's this? The Christ? Antichrist? Is it Antichrist? Yeah. And um, the, the mark of the beast and all of that, that baby steps to that type of um, world leadership. Who knows? But that's what they want. They keep asking for it and they're going to get it. Mm-hmm. Like I said, it's always good when you're the one in power. Yeah. But yeah. when you're the one that's not in power anymore, mm-hmm. you ain't going to like that. I thought about that in the biblical, in, in the Bible days with the children of Israel, with the different kings they had. Uh-huh. They had some mean kings over them, ruling over them. Uh-huh. And they had to deal with the mean kings. When they got a good king, they were like, yes, yes. But 
Every king, every leader is going to be different. That's the problem they got right now in Israel. They, they have for a it, bad king. And you got it. Mm-hmm. But they asked for it. They asked for all the stuff they got. Hey, they got it. Hey. And you got to deal with what you asked for. So, so okay. let's see what people saying on here. Um, Darla says, love you ladies and the funny, interesting points of view y'all have. Thanks, Darla. Um, <laughs> TYT is doing a live special right now on just that. Who Trump would have on his cabinet? Yeah, mm-hmm. so maybe we'll talk about that another Who's day. Who's gonna pull in because on his cabinet? I don't, I don't know. And everybody, you know, I don't think he wants a vice it, president. It doesn't even matter. Everybody's dancing around the center of that group of Senate and um, reps, representatives that is for him. Yeah, and what's her name? Right. That was in Senator Arizona. Oh, um, yeah, what that was name? running. Everybody's dancing. Yeah. Look at me. Da-da, they want to be on his cabinet. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Donald. Yeah. I, I support you. I still believe that they robbed you of that. That um, what is it? The election. Election. They went. Hey, hey, I'm here. Stupid. That's they're dancing around, wanting to be a part of his administration. So we'll see how what happens there. Okay. Well, that's the Republicans. Like I said, we need the Republican or Democrat. We don't belong to either. So one we of really them. won't be able to vote in the primary because we're right. not either party. Or if I do, it'll be um, probably Democrat. We'll see. Because if it's local stuff, I don't know. Yeah, you that's true. I want to vote for local. But then some of the people local, I don't want. Too. I don't want Democrats on. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. I don't like that. that they don't have. I don't like when the prim- They need to change how the primaries are structured. Well, because we're not Republican and Democrat, that's why we could talk about this bonehead. Okay. Um, <laughs> House votes to censor Democratic Rep. <clears throat> Jamal Bowman over the fire alarm incident. I don't know if you guys.